Well, good morning, everyone. This is Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology, and uh, today we're working with the Nook tablet. Now, the Nook tablet comes, uh, this is different than the Nook Color. The Nook Color is about uh, 30 or 40 dollars less than the Nook tablet, but the Nook Color does not have sound, a uh, microphone, and uh, a few other amenities, and uh, the Nook tablet does. So you can use this Nook tablet for a lot of things that, that won't work on the Nook Color. The Nook tablet comes in two different versions. One version, which I have, is 8 gigabytes. It was just released in the middle of February this of uh, 12, uh, this year. And uh, it is about $50 less than the other model that they already had, the 16 gigabyte model. And uh, by and large, I think it probably will do just about as well as the 16 gigabyte version, except that uh, the 16 gigabyte version already had some ROMs and, and uh, 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 other software, custom software built for it when this version came out. And if you did like I did and tried to flash those ROMs onto this smaller device, they won't fit and you will brick your device as I did. Now I was able to re restore it and now this this device is totally stock. It is back to complete stock. There's no modification to it whatsoever. It's an 8 gigabyte stock running 1.4.2 version of the uh, Barnes & Noble software. So uh, that's a, a brief overview of what the Nook tablet is all about. Now one of the few things that the stock version will do is run Netflix. <laughs> a few things other than read books. Now I haven't even signed in on this one because I just converted or reverted back to standard uh, uh, stock version. So it is uh, it's not a very usable device and unless you want to read books, which you know that's I recommend that, it's not real usable. It does have the capability you can go here to uh, the home button and then press the web and you can browse the web. Now that's pretty cool. You know, a $200 device that you can browse the web with is okay, except that you can also do tremendously more and better by modifying the device slightly. So in the next few videos we will be doing some modifications to this Nook tablet. Now uh, again, be real careful if you have a Nook tablet 8 gigabyte version, don't put stuff on it that was designed exclusively for the 16 gigabyte version or you will brick it or lock it up and it will not be usable. Now if you have that problem, contact me on my website raywaldo.com and I will be able to help you I think to get it cleared up. But just be sure that anything that you put on the 8 gigabyte version is uh, is designed to be used on an 8 gigabyte version. Now on my website from now on, raywaldo.com, I will be doing uh, a lot of reviews and, and guides for the Nook tablet, but everything that I'm going to do will be either for the 8 gigabyte or for both. And generally everything, anything that will work on 8 gigabyte will also work on a 16 gigabyte. So that's it for today, uh, or at least for this episode. I'll be back in a little while and uh, give you another uh, review, another uh, option to how to modify this or in some terms uh, root it and put a custom ROM on it. Okay, well, see you then. All right, bye.